Dylan Cornett. I'm originally from Maysville, Kentucky. I came to Georgetown because this is where I went to school. I developed a passion for fitness and nutrition when I was a kid. So from the time I can remember, I used to watch Bruce Lee movies or strongman competitions and wanted to do all of it. So from the time I was a kid, that was what I aspired to. Uh, my early influences as a kid, you know, definitely Bruce Lee, anybody who was doing martial arts. To be honest, anybody who was ripped, strong, it didn't really matter. Anybody that was doing something physical. So strong men, Bruce Lee, as I got a little bit older and MMA became big, a lot of, you know, guys in the UFC and that sort of thing. I just aspired to, to do all of it. I didn't, I didn't see a difference in any of it. Uh, my lifestyle shaped the way I live pretty much by taking it over. You know, it's not really a lifestyle at this point. It's uh, just more my life. So I get up every day. I eat pretty much the same things every day. I train every day. Um, I coach every day. If I'm not coaching, I'm making workouts or tweaking things for different programs that I'm doing. So it's just, it's pretty much all consuming. Uh, my lifestyle has affected my relationship with my family and friends, hopefully in a positive way. Um, you know, a lot of people that I know now are into fitness, almost all of my friends are. Um, you know, I've had people in the past who weren't into it that, you know, I help motivate to get into it. So I try to be a positive influence and get as many people up and moving as I can. Making Georgetown fit to me just means that we have fewer people who are unable to complete the things that they want to complete, you know, whatever that is. Um, people who are less depressed, people who are more likely to do something great. You know, I want, I want to be in a community full of people who are fit, who are vibrant, who, you know, want to push forward, who want to start new things, who want to, who want to see things change for the better. And that's really it. I just want to see more people up and going. Making Georgetown fit is important to me, maybe selfishly, because I get tired of <laughs> being around people who aren't motivated. You know, I want, uh, I want to see everybody motivated so that they can motivate each other and we can have a better community. So marketing and branding in the fitness industry is twofold. It's a good thing in the sense that because fitness is growing and more people are into it, there's a market for marketing fitness. So that's a good thing. That shows that, that the, uh, the market value is there for fitness. It also means that with all these new things around and all these new kind of buzzwords that get people excited that people get excited about fitness because they start their thing and they, they have a group or a community that they're a part of. And that's a good thing. Anything that gets people up and moving, I think is positive. Where it becomes negative is, it's really just all in how, how it's done. You know, when, when people, trainers, coaches, business owners, when they get too wrapped up in what it is that they're selling or whatever it is that their brand is, and they, they maybe forget that their purpose is to help the individuals, I think that's a problem. You know, if, if you can help somebody by doing something a little bit different than what it is that, that you're currently doing, you know, I, think, I think that's worth doing. I don't think you should stick to one particular thing. I think you should be malleable and, and able to take the obstacles that are presented with your clients. So meet them where they are, help them with what it is they need to be helped. So whether that's mobility, strength, endurance whatever it is don't get too locked up in what it is you're doing think more about where it is that they want to go with their fitness and what it is they need uh, the type of members that i have are varied i have members from 7 to 70. you know i have people with arthritic backs i have people who are going into the kentucky state police department i have business owners i have young scott county football players i have a little bit of everybody I think people come here, A, for a little bit of novelty. What we do is a little bit different. Uh, people don't usually see the types of things that we do. And I also like to think that they come in because of what we, what we try to portray. So, you know, when we speak in public or when we put something out on social media, I hope that some of that is a positive influence and people understand that what we do is a little bit different than most other things that they're gonna get. I think people come back because of the quality of what we do. Um, you know, we're confident in the things that we do. We, we've really tried to boil it down to, to the key points and really hone in on those. And I think people pick up on that as well as the care that we give to the individuals. You know, we, even though a lot of what we do is sometimes class-based, we do personals as well. You know, even in a class, you still get a pretty personal feel 
and uh, we try to do that every single day. The connection between the body and the mind is, you know, it's whatever you want to make it. I think it's, it can be different for each individual, but I think that the, the overall goal is self-mastery. So if you're having trouble or you're, you know, maybe you're, you're lacking confidence or you, you know, whatever, you've hit a rough patch in your life, I think by just dropping down and doing some push-ups, doing some jumping jacks, you know, getting a little sweaty, getting your heart rate up, getting your endorphins up, can A, be motivating, B, make you physically feel a little bit better, but C, let, get you to realize that, you know, nothing is really that final, you know, other than, <laughs> other than death. So, you know, regardless of what happens, you can, you can figure out a way around it. And I think that if you get in the gym and you're, you're in there year in and year out, you're going to hit hurdles here and there and learning to overcome those can really translate over to other parts of your life. Um, key philosophies that make up my fitness foundations, strength, endurance, mobility. And essentially what that comes down to me um, as is the ability to do work, whatever that is. So if you need to pick something up and carry it, you can do that. If you need to climb a mountain, you can do that. You need to jump over something, you can do that. But also your resilient to those things so you know with a lot of with a lot of things in fitness people can get a little carried away and become a little bit more injury prone but i think if you take kind of the the slow and low approach and you do it consistently over time you can create a body that's pretty indestructible the legacy i hope to leave behind is just you know a passion for passion get excited about the things that you're doing um, get out there be fit you know I think if you have a fit body you're probably more likely to have a fit mind and I think it's all you know I think it's all tied together you know mind and body are definitely connected if you have a healthy body you're probably a lot more likely to have a healthy mind and that's what I want to that's the message I want to put out I just want more people to be healthy happy and ready to do some work